Hey guys, Bart from TST Industries here. Welcome to TST Garage. As you can see in front of me, I have a Suzuki GSX 8S in the shop today, and we will be discussing the ECU flash tuning on this bike. Now, over the years, we've offered many different ECU tunes for different bikes. The whole program started back in the day when we started building race bikes for our team to race, and we had the need to in-house develop all of the bikes and their systems and subsequently we had to tune them so we bought a dyno and we started tuning them and some of the tuning was through the OEM ECUs like we do on this bike and then we also bought standalone aftermarket ECUs that were much more complicated and required more reverse engineering to get them going but we also amassed vast knowledge in that field so now it's 2023 and we have a legacy of many, many models that we've amassed knowledge from. And this GSX ADS is going to benefit from all that knowledge now. We have been offering some flash tune programs for this bike already since midsummer 2023. And now as we get more into the development of intake parts, different exhausts are coming in. We're gonna start getting into the motor and modifying that a little bit. We will have the need to keep on updating the flash tune program. So we will also be offering many different variants of our flash tune program to the market. I would like to say a couple of things about how we go about tuning these motorcycles and specifically this one, and then we'll get to the actual removal of the ECU. As you may have noticed, we do have two bungs welded to our primaries on the header here. We do have several different exhausts that we've done the tuning on. Subsequently, we will be doing tunes on different exhausts in combination with our intake system that we're developing that's not ready yet, that will come later. The big detail here is that we are able to probe each cylinder's separate ex exhaust stream and make changes to the fueling tables and ignition tables based on what we see happening in each combustion chamber. This is very important because you have two different length funnels from the factory on the intake on this bike. So each cylinder breathes a little bit different and it achieves volumetric efficiency at different RPMs. So each one will need something a little bit different and we cater to that. Our tuning approach focuses on performance without sacrifice of rideability and smoothness. We iterate many sessions of data logging with low speed start stops, on track tuning at various paces ranging from chill to kill mode and a lot of dyno time. We do try to ensure that the rideability of this motorcycle in every RPM range, every throttle opening is gonna be pleasant and smooth. So that is what we've done here. I've ridden this bike with the different exhausts that we provide tune for with our tunes. I'm very pleased with the results. So now we offer these to you guys and as new exhausts roll in and new components are developed and produced and made available to you guys, we will roll out with subsequent tunes that will be available through tsdindustries.com. All right, let's get to the nitty gritty here. Let's take off the seats, take off some fairings, split some body panels and get our ECU out so we can send it off to the good folks at TST so they can plug them in and run the program. Let's begin by taking off the seats. Five millimeter Allen here. Now I'm gonna grab a Phillips screwdriver, take out this fastener and it's matching set on the other side. It does have a washer underneath it, so let's make sure we retain that. Moving on aft, we will be removing these two fasteners here. And finally, these two here. The component you are seeing here is our prototype of the taillight for this bike. It's not currently on the market as of December 2023. We're well, looking forward to 2024 to release this. You're likely equipped with this component, which also mounts from the bottom with two push fasteners. We will push in the centers on those to release them and then extract them. And that just looks like this. This is it in its locked location or position. 
push that in, it gets unlocked, withdraw it, and that releases the part it's holding in. Okay, now all those fasteners are free. I'm just gonna unroute my tail light wires here. If you just have the standard setup, this will not be a step to consider. Now the tail light or the rear shroud, whatever you may have, comes off. And now you need to remove these panels. The left side panel does present an extra challenge here because we do have the latch. So I will get this nipple from the cable pole out of its keeper move it around to the right side and extract the ball. Now we have access under here. Our ECU is directly below this sub tray that is located below this thing. So we we'll take this whole bracket off. To do that, we will grab a 10 millimeter socket. And now we've opened up a little bit more access here. Let's get this unplugged so we can move the wire out of the way. A bunch of wires here. This section of sub tray or mid tray as we may want to call it because the sub tray really is below and this is kind of in the middle. It's a shroud that encapsulates the ECU underneath it and presents a couple mounting locations for other auxiliary equipment. We will need to lift up on that. So we will start by removing this fastener here. Then we will need to find this fastener in here. That also needs to be removed. Now we're looking pretty loose here. We need to remove these three push fasteners from the aft section. Now with the ECU accessible, we're able to lift it up gently and it'll be necessary to undo these two connectors. They are cam locked. We'll need a little screwdriver to press down, a little flathead screwdriver to press down on the unlock tab. And as you work the cam upwards, it brings the, it unseats the connector. I'm just going to quickly demonstrate how these connectors work because it's not intuitive. So this is the connector in its locked place. There's a little tab up the line from this arrow. Get your finger under the tab. Gently press down on this tab that clears it out. And then the cam is able to roll forward and that withdraws the ECU connector and the rest of the way you could just wiggle it out. And that's pretty much it. Next we'll go over the details on how to properly package this thing so it actually arrives to us safely. All right, I've grabbed some supplies here. Let's talk about how to package this guy properly. At the very minimum, I like to block off the connector ports here, making sure that nothing falls in there during or after shipment. I'm using painter's tape, using uh, tape that leaves residue is definitely not a good idea. What you can do to ensure that this is more robust is tape a piece of card, a U-bent cardboard over the ports, but this is technically okay and it'll get to us and we'll have stuff jammed in there. Beyond this, I would put about two inches of padding all around, whether it be foam, bubble wrap, or paper corrugate packaging material, whatever it is, you just wanna make sure that should this thing be dropped during shipment, all of the little tabs and locating and locking features survive. Highly recommend going with a, at least a double wall corrugate box that will also help ensure prevention of loss. Now, here's a very good idea. When you send this whole shipment to us, please consider insuring it. 
We can't do anything about your shipment being lost in transit to us. We do ensure our packages in transit back to you. So we can have something to do about that, but if your shipment does not get to us or if it gets to us damaged, we just can't do anything about that. So please make sure you keep your components safe before and after they leave your facility. And that way we will receive it here at tsdindustries.com. We'll flash it and get it back to you. And you'll have a big old smile on your face when you feel what this bike feels like after the tune. All right. That's pretty much it for this video. I think I've gone over all the details. We need to leave this in this form because now the ECU is out. It is going to a flash tuner, then it'll come back and all the steps will be the reverse order of disassembly. And at that point, the bike will be ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. We have the flash tunes ready to go. They are specific to some exhausts. We are building new tunes all the time. As soon as we get a new exhaust, we will build a new tune and make it available as soon as possible. So check tstindustries.com. If we don't have your exhaust yet, maybe you could suggest to us what to do next. And that's pretty much it. See you later. Ride safe. Drop me some comments.